Okay. The Trespasser Part 1, Jurassic World Dominion Horror Short Film, Blender. cows. I love how peaceful nature can be at times, you know? Like, we love the chaos and the intensity, you know, but kind of just amazes me. The world just kind of, everything just functions and, and works as it should. Animals run on instincts. They do what they just or naturally feel they do, you know, they don't have to make the decisions, they just do what they have to do, you know? And then we have people over here that, we have our, we have our logic and our self-awareness that dictates all of our decisions on top of instinct, you know? I don't know, just the, the whole thing, the whole, sometimes you just become really self-aware and just appreciate just existing in general, I don't know, just going into an existential, you know, mindset for a minute. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but I don't know. I just, sometimes I feel more connected to the universe and I feel all that. Isla New Bar. That guy's voice. Okay. Texas, February 2021. The Trespasser. Ooh, okay. It looks kind of like a, like when you're in like a creative character mode in a game and you haven't done anything to him quite yet. So he's like the default kind of looking guy. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. Uh, someone, okay, someone's supposed to be in there. Where could they have gone? Okay. Trying to trying to figure out what might be the circumstance here, because you live in like walking distance of Jurassic Park itself or something. All right, I guess we're just we're we're down a cow, I suppose. He's bumming out, look at how he's waiting. That's sweet. Man, isn't it crazy how scary the woods are at night? Or like a wrestler walking to the ring or something like a WWE wrestler walking down the aisle They're where they need to be, but what was that? 
was that rustling around? Oh, come on. What? Oh, no. I guess it probably wasn't a good idea to put him in there if the other one had gotten away already, right? It wasn't. I guess that wasn't too smart. Oh, no. This guy's losing all his cattle, man. Is this down to one now? I feel so bad for this cow. All his buddies are gone. He's just out there by himself. He's probably sad. That's probably... Ugh, oh, my heart. My, my heart. I feel so bad for this. Oh, no. Now you have to use it as bait to try to... F I don't even think... Man, this guy is brave. He's doing what he's got to do. comes up behind you, bro. You gotta turn around and look once in a while. How does he make these so good, though? Just... Aww. Why was that so cute, just a cow laying down? Why was that adorable? No, Bubba. I should have brought some coffee out or something with you. He's gonna wake up, and that thing is gonna be. His cow is gonna be gone. Please wake up. Whoa, what is that? No! Oh, I really wanted that cow to live. Holy friggin' crap! Is that a pterodactyl? Oh, yes, the cow got away. The cow ran over to him, scared. That's adorable. Oh, my God, that pterodactyl was... I, I hope that was a pterodactyl. I don't... I'm not a dinosaur master, and I apologize to anybody who gets a little annoyed with me if I if I call a dinosaur the wrong thing or I don't pronounce the name properly. I, I genuinely don't mean to do that. It's just... lack of knowledge, that's all. I love that the cow ran over to him when it got scared. immediately I need more of that right now right freaking now all right we're we're picking right back up this is the trespasser part two and I believe he has encountered a Quetzalcoatlus actually I was calling it a pterodactyl in the first one but I'm pretty sure it's a Quetzalcoatlus I'm not a dinosaur master so I apologize Right there, God. Damn. And he just got chucked on top of a house like nothing. Wow. Well, now you know what's been picking off all your cows. So that's not what I was expecting. I mean, you know, we, how many times has it been the raptor or T-Rex or just something obvious, you know? The Quetzalcoatlus is not what I was expecting. Man, you're gonna flop right off the damn roof. Did you just jump off the roof? 
Dude, this guy is badass. Two, I'm presuming, are dead. One still missing. It was one of those bird dinosaur things. Had been sneaking over to the cow barn and snatching my girls one after the other. <laughs> I tried to stop it. Heck, I shot at it several times. Didn't do a goddamn thing. She's the last of my flock, and she normally heads back to the barn for sundown. So I'm just gonna be here waiting. <laughs> the voice, the voice, that's funny. There's one guy making these, and it's impressive considering. Why is. Why is this cow walking around by itself? Where is your farmer? Where is your farmer, man? I don't... I don't feel good about it. Something's... Ay, ay, ay! Oh, look how sneaky he's being! That is... Creepy. Oh, Bubba. Get out of there. You're not gonna be allowed to run that thing. You're just a little cow. And this thing can fly. Oh, you poor thing. Uh, oh, Bubba, come on. Where is your farmer? Oh, he's just playing with you. He could totally get this thing whenever he wants. The wingspan on that is so impressive. That would be, that would be like shocking to see in person. Like any of these would be obviously, but. Ah, yay. Look at his little, look at his little back legs, that's funny. Ooh. That thing is fierce looking. The cow is the cow is on its side right now. Maybe it knows to stay down. I hope he's not hurt. Oh, where is the farmer? Damn it! Oh, his little hunt, his little creep back. That was so cute. Oh, look at how. Look at how, like, just hunched over and ready to... And... Man, I didn't realize how scary these freaking things are. The Kesselkel Atlas. Ah, oh, What? out of there. Oh, poor cow, though. What just... That was weird, though. Why was the cow by itself? What just scared off the, the cats? I've got questions. Like, why are you not keeping an eye on the other cow right now? Shouldn't you be out looking for... Where is your farm that it's so close to dinosaurs? Did you know that you were near dinosaurs? Is this a surprise? Like...
He didn't seem like he was afraid of it. Uh, bro has a stegosaurus in his backyard. Just there it is. He said Quetzalcoatlus is coming after his cows. I don't know why this one's off by itself right now. I, I just, I want this cow to live so bad for some reason. This poor thing. Uh, he's just, he's so vulnerable and helpless. Okay. Please let this cow live somehow, some way. He's too he's too innocent and adorable. I can't take it. Just be something small and friendly. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. What is creeping? What is creeping right now? The cliffhangers, man. <laughs> the, the cliffhangers are so intense. Oh, man. I'm so invested in this little freaking dinosaur. I mean, this little cow right now. Okay, here we go. The Trespasser Part 3. That that, that cliffhanger was a, was a rough one. That was rough. What the heck was just going on with that cow? And what the heck was coming up on him? Okay. I still don't understand why he's not with the other cow, though. Oh, there he is. Bessie? Oh, no. Bessie's not stopping. Man, that flashlight is just like a dead giveaway, though, to anything around. If I was, if I was, you know, if I realized that there was dinosaurs suddenly around, like, whoa, that... Why is there raptors? Like, why is this guy's farm near dinosaurs? Did he know that? Is this like a sudden surprise? Like, did dinosaurs escape and now this is like a new problem? Like, oh man, I have so many questions. Okay. I would reinforce that freaking whatever that, I would reinforce that barn if you want to hold on to Bessie. This poor cow is probably traumatized at this point. Just a man and his cow, you know? <laughs> Just a man and his cow trying to get, get by in this crazy ass life. Trying to figure out why there's dinosaurs. I'm just trying to figure out why the hell did I, why did I pick living near dinosaurs? I don't, I, st I just, I don't know if he knows, if he always knew or, or not. But if he did always know, I feel like it was a brazen idea to have a farm, you know, something that would attract them. Please, Lord, don't let my cow get eaten. Please let these dinosaurs move on and forget about everything. I don't want to get chomped up. Oh, wait. What? 
Dude, did they? You have a freaking dinosaur in your house. Bro, it's time to move. Are you freaking kidding me? That stealth walk. Ay, caramba! This is a nightmare. Oh, that's so creepy. Looks like a little raptor creeping around. Ay, ay, ay. See him? Is he seriously coming toward him? Oh my god. Wow, that. Whoo! Oh, that was awesome. That was a, that was such an efficient, like, slap. How did he, like, get him, did he get his, like, his throat from the inside? That was, that was, like, really proficient. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, that could have been, that could have went way, way worse. And now you, you have a dead raptor. Like, now you're, you're dealing with raptors now at this point. Is this like going to be a new problem that you're always going to have to deal with? I mean, I think it's time to move, bro. I think it's time to get the hell out of here. Uh, of course, that wasn't the only one. Should have held on to the phone, man. Oh, actually, no, I don't keep him distracted at least. Oh, my God, there's two of them, bro. not turned this way that oh my god that is so lucky dude the wrecking crew just showed up are you serious wow dude what do you do what are you supposed to do you move and you're you're a freaking meal uh oh wow he I don't know how he managed to get out of there so stealthily, but that was impressive. Look at that. Dude, this is intense. This is like seriously intense. Oh, at least he's... At least he's got weapons, you know? Like... This guy's prepared for disaster. Oh my god, they're trying to f they're trying to figure out how to get into the door. This is the scariest raptor I've ever seen.
Like even if you were to get, even if you were to shoot this one, you still have two more that would come right, right after you. Holy shit! Woo! Alright, we still have... We still have two more now. He's brazenly walking through the house like... That's... That's kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie. This guy, he's avenging all of his, all of his cattle. You can see how heavy, you can see how hard he's breathing. I like that little detail. Did they peace out? Where did they go? I wouldn't get myself cornered into like the basement like this. What makes you think they're in here? Jesus Christ! Uh, I was gonna say, you gotta hope the other one wasn't just like right up the stairs too. Woo! You're not gonna outrun this raptor. You better figure it out quick, man. You're not gonna outrun a raptor. Oh, wow, that was lucky. Uh, holy crap, dude. The Stegosaurus is like... That's impressive. The cats, the cats just comes out of nowhere. Oh, I love how fucking lucky and perfect that was. That was like such a, a movie, you know, type scene, you know, just like insane luck, you know? Oh, that was wild. I was wondering how he was gonna get out of that. I was like, dude, you're not gonna outrun a raptor, <laughs> you know? Oh, and there's, he's still got Bessie. And he's got a Stegosaurus in tow now, too. He's hanging out. Why are these so good? I'm kind of blown away at how, uh, how much that just had me pulled in. I was so invested. I wanted that cow to live so bad. And the way he did that, that raptor scene with them in the house, the tension was unreal, dude. Allie, you are killing it, man. You, you have a lot of good things coming your way and I am ecstatic to see what happens and see what you come up with and keep doing because holy cow, man, you are kind of single-handedly just lifting up the Jurassic Park, you know, fandom to an unbelievable level. I'm very proud of, uh, of I don't know why I'm proud of you, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know you, but I, I'm very proud of you for doing this. It's a good job, man. I'm just, see how I, I'm, it's got me so excited and, and happy to watch that I, I can't even think, you know? So that's how you know you did something good. Good job. We're gonna call it there for now. So hey, I really appreciate you checking out the video and hanging out and watching a bit. Definitely hop over to Ali Iwata and show him some love, show him, show him some support. It means the world that you stop by to watch for a bit, whether it was for five seconds or the whole video. I just, it means the world. Just thank you so much. Just, oh, thank you. It means everything. Have a great day.